Well, the city of Fairhope is investing more than a quarter of a million dollars into a project that will make streets safer in the downtown area. Officials say construction may cause some disruption and traffic flow, but in the end, they say it will be worth it. NBC 15's Kate Thomas joins us now. Kate, this is all about keeping people safe. That's right, Kim. Roundabouts are becoming more common in the city of Fairhope, and residents can expect at least one more. The city of Fairhope is turning one of the busiest and most dangerous intersections in the city into a roundabout. City officials say this roundabout will help alleviate traffic congestions and accidents in the area. The intersection is most commonly referred to as the Fairhope Triangle by the flower clock right off of Highway 104. It will be a much safer area for people to try to navigate. Again, you're coming in from Scenic 98, you're coming in off of 98 and coming in off Section Street. So it's an area where we see a lot of traffic. There's also a school and a church there. Um, we hope to have a, a trail there right there at the Triangle property. So again, it's a lot of traffic through there and I think it's just going to make it sa safer for folks. This is good news for Fairhope residents. I think that is great because that is a very dangerous area and lots of cars are going all over the place, turning in different ways. So I think that would be wonderful. The Eastern Shore MPO is sponsoring the project along with the city of Fairhope. A project like this, you know, could take several months. It could take three to six months uh, to, to construct it. And I don't think it should take any longer than that. So we're looking at some time of completion in 2023. The Fairhope City Council is meeting tonight to discuss project plans. Live from Baldwin County, Alabama, I'm Kate Thomas, NBC 15 News.